Coming up next, the Celtics taking on the Pacers. For Boston, they know each game presents a test a physical endurance, a mental focus, and their ability to match up against any style of play. And that challenge is right ahead. Pacers, Celtics, up next. Welcome, everyone, and what a game we have for you tonight as we get set to bring you NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. And for Indiana, they've got Turner. Neesmith is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. And Greg, on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Holiday with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Launches it. And Holiday is good for three. Holiday's three got points. the first bucket of the game with the three for the Celtics. Holiday against Halliburton. Pass to Nemo. And here is Neesmith. Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. Here's Siaka. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Now, this guy continues to build his offensive skill set. Pascal Siakam with the mid-range jumper. Here's White. And the Celtics another three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Knocks it loose. Neesmith, the pass to Halliburton. It wasn't the best of seasons, Doris, for the Indiana Pacers last year. But there are reasons for optimism. Kevin, they've got a talented young sport that appear to really enjoy playing with one another. It was a selfless group that looked fun to coach, and I believe the franchise headed in the right direction. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. The Celtics working the ball around now. Holiday with the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Pass to turn. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Here's Neesmith. Offensive rebound. Nice D from Porzingis. For Boston, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. The three from Tatum. The Pacers pull it in. Here's Nemhard. Turner passes to Siakam. Halliburton with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Here's Siakam. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. Three-pointer. And Holiday is good Drew for three. Holiday. Holiday's got nine. He's an explosive athletic guard, and I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. The three from Tatum, and again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Here's Nemhard looking to end the run. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. That's to Persingas. Banked in off the glass. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots Indiana they want, and defensively, out. they are connected and on a string. So, timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Oh. 
so it's both teams making substitutions here. On defense, the Celtics. Halliburton kicks to Siaka. Over Tatum. And the Pacers can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Brown with the bucket. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That team continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. And the basket by Tatum. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Can they get it? And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul goes against Boston. Boy, what a clever decision there by Pascal Siakam. Sticks with the shot and wins a trip to the free throw line. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on Dream that end. Holiday. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team, productive and efficient. Now, here's Siakam. Can't hit that one. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot Jason buy a bucket right now. Knowing it's his responsibility to find open teammates. Holiday, nice job setting the table there. The pass to Matherin. Siakam with it, and it's Horford picking him up. The 11-footer, and the shot goes in from Siakam. Siakam's got six. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Holiday with the three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. And a wide open look from Atherin. Traps in the tray. A young guy who is ready to attack. Matherin gets the ball and goes straight into his shot. Knocked loose. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Three-pointer, Horford trains the three-pointer. Well, this is just three another points. way that Al Horford can beat you. He has turned himself into a quality three-point shooter. Siakam, basket made. That's his third of the game. He's three for nine now. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Brown with the bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Drew Holiday has been on display for Boston. 18 points from three-point range for him in that quarter. That is some serious shooting. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. They've got Halliburton. Walker out there with Benedict Matherin. Then it's Turn, and it's Nemhard in at the two. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Left side, Halliburton. And Pritchard pulls it down. On the wing, Brown, guarded by Walker. 
Pritchard passes to Holiday. Fires the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D. Showing he can hurt you from that area. Here's Halliburton. Here's Turner. Outside for Halliburton. Tries yet again. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Tatum no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. ADB, as players establish themselves, gaining that respect and recognition always seems to come down to postseason success, right? Playoff success. It's so true, Kevin, whether it's fair or not. Great production in the regular season without having accompanying success in the postseason tends to get written off. So the pressure falls on teams to win or risk Jason losing Tatum. their star players. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Jason Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Kristaps Porzingis is a tough cover. This guy knows he can make threes. Now you get inside the lane and look out. Timeout call, the Pacers. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Neesmith, he's checked in for the Pacers. The Pacers have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Halliburton passes to Turner. Walker taking his time here. Back to Turner. Kicks to Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. And Walker throws it down hard. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Austin with the ball. Tatum on the wing. Let's it go with a three. And again, Boston Jason with the triple. Tatum. Jason Tatum is a thirsty scorer, and right now, filling it up. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. No doubt, Greg, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing My in each Lord. of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. The Pacers have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Halliburton kicks to Walker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Walker's got five now. Well, that is about recognition right there from Tyrese Halliburton. He recognizes the overcommitment, makes the defense pay. Tillman passes to Walsh. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum, that's for two. Tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First person. It's going to be on Miles Turner. No question, he got bumped on that shot. This is his first free throw of the game. And he hit 72% of his foul shots a season ago, but I'm not sure he's real thrilled with those numbers. For Indiana, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. McConnell finds Halliburton. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Up and inside. Halliburton against Tatum. Lock at six. Halliburton passes to McDermott. The second chance effort. Goes up again. Outside for Halliburton. Back to McDermott. 
And another shot. And the rejection by Tatum. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. 115 left in the second quarter. Buries it from three-point range. For three. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Halliburton with it. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Celtics have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. To the middle. Here's Brissett. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Stolen away. Richard passes to Tillman. Count it. Good. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now. But still, plenty of time left. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Siakam is checked in for Jalen Smith. And it's Benedict Matherin in for Halliburton. McConnell and blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. Here's White. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. Here's McConnell. Lays it up off the glass. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Celtics. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Pulls up on the wing. And Holiday with Drew the basket Holiday. on the assist by Tatum. Assist 23 points for Jason Drew Holiday. Tatum. Now, Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. And so it's Boston with a huge 37-point lead to end the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much with Rick Carlisle. Coach, what needs to happen on the defensive end to get back on track? Well, a lot of things need to get better. Uh, our level force defensively is not there. We got to pick it up. You know, we got to play with a lot more collective force. We'll see if you can bring the noise more as the game goes on. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. What a game it's been for Drew Holiday. He had 23 points, three assists, and one rebound. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, they went downtown and threw a party. And fortunately, we were all invited. The key is their shooters weren't afraid to pull the trigger on open looks. And it's a blowout right now. Shaq, your take on Indiana. Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. And if he can keep shooting from deep, like he did in the first half. He's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until Drew the defense Holiday. does something about Three. it. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the point. Here's Halliburton, and the layup falls. Tyrese Halliburton has a array of moves offensively off the deck. Yes, sir. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, Kevin most White. notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. Taken away by Holiday. From the arc. 
And again, Boston with the triple. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Inside. And the layup is Drew good Holiday. after a nice lead pass. The assist. And that's 31 Derek points Boyd. for Drew Holiday. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Nemhoff, and he uses the glass Here's on the lane. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. The Celtics have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Outside Holiday, and again for Drew three. Holiday. Buries three his points. tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. The Pacers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Turner for Zingas with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Chris Stapps for Zingas with the rejection. And there's Just the bucket from Tatum. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all time high, just feeding off each other right now. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, of course, the Pacers have a great history. And star point guard Tyrese Halliburton is eager to embrace it. He said, I want to know all the stories of Pacers players of the past. I want to know more about Ron Artest and everybody who played for this organization. I'm being where my feet are. I love being here in Indy. Kevin? Oh, I love to hear that. He could be that next Pacers great player. For David, three. thanks. Yeah, on the catch and shoot game, Derek White, very assertive, ready to react. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Neesmith, the pass to Turner. Now, here's Halliburton. Pass to Siakam. Clock at four. Fires for three. Neesmith can't get it to go. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Takes a three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White, rise and fire from three-point, and it is on target. Here's Siakam. Rebounded by the Celtics. Outside, White. And the Celtics hit again Derek from White. deep. Three. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And the dunk by Porzingis. Well, seven foot three doesn't need much of a vertical. Easy finish for KP. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. And Siakam throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Drew and he's good on the three ball. And with a good array of moves, Holiday can pull up for jumpers because he keeps defenders guessing. Halliburton against Holiday. Siakam, high post. He's got 12. It's good. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Here's Holiday driving in. Yeah, you know what? Feed the beast. You got to look for him every trip down because he's been out of his mind this quarter. Here's Halliburton. He's got six. Passes it to Turner. He gets it in there. My Turner's got four points this quarter. When Turner's scoring buckets inside, he is really testing the defense. This guy has a whole lot of game. The shot by Holiday, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Just five on the clock. No one near him. 
Yes, that goes in. And it's eight points for Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton, a huge part of this offense, which is why he has the confidence in these catch and shoot situations. No hesitation. Holiday Drew gets the bucket. Holiday. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Holiday inside the line, and it's Drew good Holiday. off the back of the rim Assist and in. Goes to 43 GC points for Drew Holiday. And he's got it all working for him tonight. Holiday's effort level and the energy the are off the chart. Score. And so it's the Boston Celtics 42. enjoying the kind of the gigantic Celtics. lead you almost One never point. see. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. They've got Jackson. T.J. McConnell is out there with Benedict Matherin. Then it's Doug McDermott, and it's Smith in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And Jackson throws it down hard. And Matherin proving he can be unselfish, wanting to find his teammates. Here's Pritchard. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got six assists here tonight. Well, what a job punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball call. And the Celtics with possession here. Matherin passes to McConnell. He gets that one. TJ McConnell. So it's Boston now. Down low, Hauser. Well timed pass, Hauser. and he goes straight to the bucket Assistant. for the layup. What an excellent post entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Now, here's McConnell. He's guarded closely. Shoots from 12. And again, it's Indiana converting. And typically, rookies can have trouble with that mid-range jumper. Not Matherin. He has a great feel in that area. Holiday with the three. The Pacers pull it in. McDermott's got his fifth rebound in this one. And the pass to McConnell. Now here's McDermott. He's tightly guarded. Five on the clock. Rebounded by Hauser. The Celtics have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And the basket by Tatum. Now there's a mix of strength and agility that Jason Tatum is taking advantage of. Nice work in there. Now here's McConnell. He takes the 12 footer and hits. McConnell's got four points this quarter. Working against size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like Drew the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Now, Matherin, and stolen by Tatum. And pushing it up, here's Boston. The Celtics working the ball around now. Second chance shot. Pritchard gets the bucket. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Celtics. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. 
And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity, forcing turnovers, coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. And Indiana making a change here. Walker's checked in. Then for the Celtics, Al Horford. He's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Mikhail Luke's subbed in for Drew Holiday. Out to the wing. Horford inside the line. Goes back up. Tillman's shot is off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. Indiana making some changes. Toppin comes in for McDermott. Halliburton subbed in for Benedict Matherin. Boston also with the sub. Browns checked in. Outside, Walker. The tray. And the Pacers can't get it to go. For Boston, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Brown outside. The Pacers pull it in. Here's Toppin. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. McDermott's checked in for Isaiah Jackson. Here's Toppin. Pass to McConnell. Two minutes remaining in the game. From Two outside minutes. the arc. And it's Toppin that time on the assist by McConnell. Toppin's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And here's Brown outside. Cans it from downtown. Jalen Brown with the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. Passes it to McDermott. Uses the glass to finish the lane. McDermott. McDermott's got his first two points of the night. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. There's Brown with the three. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Boston. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Drew Holiday. Well, I think his contribution clearly came at the defensive end, right? He came up with a bunch of huge steals. He was a menace all night long. Here's Hauser. He's defended by McDermott. Basket good. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. To the inside. Toppin. And, and Toppin throws it down. Boy, what a play by Obi Toppin. A guy who's going to improve every year. He's got tremendous work ethic. And Indiana making a change here. Jackson's checked in. For the Pacers. Obi Toppin. Free throw is good by Toppin. Hey, Greg, we love watching T.J. McConnell on the forts. It's like watching a guard from a couple decades ago. And, and Kevin, this guy's just an old-school point guard. His focus Assistant is on defense Sam and passing. And great at both of those as an undersized guard in today's NBA. Halliburton finds Toppin. Seven-second difference, shot in game clock. And McConnell gets it to go. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And here is Brown. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. The end of this the one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, 
sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.